What up? How you doing? Huh? You good? You straight? You, you, you feeling well? Shoot, I am. I'm feeling good. You know why? Because I got the S of J Nation. Huh? What about that? Huh? I woke up with the best mother effing a family ever. I was going to say fans, but I was like, nah, we ain't no fan base. We a fan base. Shout out to Irv Mac. Is that his name? They, uh, he was the first person I say fan base. So I was like, that's a genius. That's genius. I think that's his brand, though. So, SJ Nation. Whoa. Shout out to everybody who tuned in last night for the uh, epic live stream where we're breaking down the Joiner Lucas um, potentially shining, signing to Shady rumors um, and uh, what the implications of that may possibly be. <laughs> Going live tomorrow, same place, same time. Uh, man, we're going to be talking about that. If you ain't, we're going to be talking about something. If you ain't subscribed to the new channel, make sure you go. Link is in the pinned comment. Subscribe on that, John. First, and another thing I need to say, too, is ever since we moved over to the new page, um, there's, uh, I've definitely noticed that, I mean, obviously there's less people, but we're going to grow more and more. I've noticed that certain people, you know, the super chats, maybe motivated more people to donate um but i, I just need to let y'all know right now is if you ever do this is the most important time to donate while we get to through this whole strike thing um while we get through this whole new channel thing right now is the is it, all the donos mean the mean so much right now so shout out to everybody who's doing that i hope more of y'all can keep doing that keep keeping the lights on because if not we might have a problem we might have a real problem coming up here pretty soon so thank y'all uh everybody and it's better the donation system is better because paypal and cash app youtube doesn't take that 30 percent so definitely shout out to everybody who's been donating less donations actually equal up into more that i walk home with at the end of the day um but that doesn't mean, you know, keep them going. Shout out to the Amy's, the Sadie's, the Sarah's, the uh, 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 R. Brown's, the uh, 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 Angels. Shout out to the, um, man, if I missed your name, my bad. Shout out to everybody who be donating. Like, dude, But those are the people that literally donate every stream, man. And that's, that's super dope because this ain't easy. But thank y'all so much. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. New music coming. New music coming. Me and Dax got, uh, uh, oh man, I got some big news. But I kind of want to just make it a secret, but I'm really bad at secrets. So like, you know, remember when I announced, like, man, I got some big news. Ah, I've been trying my hardest to keep it secret, but I guess I got it. Anyway, my bad, y'all. Let's get into this. Listen, all my dreads was going straight except for this one dread today. Why? Why must you forsake me okay anyway so eminem and mgk eminem and mgk what was this huh well we could break it down into a bunch of different things we could um talk about a bunch of different things but let's really get into the meat and potatoes of what happened because as the year closes up I feel like it's important that the people who made videos of MGK and the Eminem thing, I think it's important that everybody does a follow-up video. Let's try to keep it, you know, fair and balanced as, as, as much as we can. Um, it's been a turbulent year for Machine Gun, to say the least. Um, as we all know, and I always like to bring this up every chance I get. I kind of, I kind of predicted this, but it's okay. I'm just gonna, just gonna let that ride. As we all know, Eminem and MGK went at it this year in a lyrical battle. Now, I don't think anybody walked into that battle thinking MGK was gonna win. I don't think that was ever an option, even for the Eminem haters, even for the MGK fans. I don't think that was ever a real option that that was ever going to happen because the the look of it alone is just like well obviously you're going to lose so i think the best 
I think what people were trying to do when they brought up like, oh, the beat was better, and was trying to give him something, right? So here's the thing that threw me off or, or, or kills me a little bit. When initially Rap Devil dropped, people were like, oh, MGK went in M, oh my God. <gasps> and then MGK even came up to the breakfast club talking about, I, I made your God bleed. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. It was just a shocker because we had not seen somebody come in M openly like that in a while. Especially like a bigger person. I'm not saying you're the biggest rapper in the world, but for where you are, you're doing very well. Pretty big. So, when Killshot initially dropped, what were people trying to say? I don't know, man. The beat. I don't know, man. The beat. Yeah, he dissing them. Yeah, he got more. It, it's a diss track, but the beat, though. And I remember, just go back. I'm too lazy to go back and see it and take the clip and put it here. But off tops, I'm pretty sure I said, let history play out. I said, let this story play out. Listen, some people like, I'm way more than a reactionist, ladies and gentlemen. I'm way more than someone who does reactions. As you see, I'm a rapper. Like, and I'm even more than that because I am obsessed with the hip hop culture. And I've always, and I've been this way since I damn near came to America or came back to America. I know so much about certain things that it's like, I, I, I take it like, and, and I'm not saying like I'm the, oh, I was just born with this gift. Anybody who dedicates over 10 years to the same thing would probably be the same type of expert that I would be, and I'm, and I'm more than 10 years into hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So, I, a lot of people be hitting me up like, dang, you predicted a lot of stuff. It's like, it's not that, it's not that I'm predicting stuff out of thin air. I'm not Miss Cleo, you know? Dial up this line and we'll tell your future. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not Miss Cleo. But the thing that is weird to me is sometimes I feel like history, I mean, I know all, history is like the same four stories told over and over and over again. If you really pay attention to what is in everything that has a history, it's about the same four stories told over and over and over again. So if you really just open your eyes, open your ears and really pay attention, then you'll see the stuff that I'm saying too. You'll see it. I liken this battle to Nas versus Jay-Z. The reason why I felt like this was going to age differently and this was going to be bad for MGK, which it was. Because it seems like as the song ages, the more and more it looks bad for MGK. I just looked at Ether and Takeover and I saw that, man, after years went by, a lot of people liked Takeover a lot more and Ether started getting dragged a lot more. Why is that? And I started looking at, oh, what were the disses? What were they saying? I was like, okay, I could see this being an Ether uh, uh, takeover situation and it was worse than that I don't even think I'm going to keep it a bug I do not hear Rap Devil be talked about as much as I hear Kill Shot still be mentioned right and I do not fault MGK for doing that I think people are weird well not weird because if someone's going at your homie or going at the person that you like you got to up, up a rug on them and, I, and I, I could feel how you might not be getting jiggy with that stuff like if you one of my fans, you a diehard SJ fan, and someone comes at me, I can see y'all being like, even if he came at me nice, you probably be like, shit, ain't even hot. And I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. Cause that's how you, if you, if you were to, listen, if I'm in a battle and I bring my fans, like five of my fans behind me, if y'all niggas ain't, what else? If y'all ain't grabbing my collar, if y'all ain't screaming, leave him alone. If y'all ain't screaming 3-0 on the second round, nigga, then, and y'all, I'm not, y'all not invited. <laughs> Why are you there? To be unbiased, nigga, you know? So, let's just be honest. Call a spade a spade. So, it was looking horrible for MGK. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is also something that I predicted. 
Do you remember, there was like a video I made where I think I said MGK is focusing on acting now. Where MGK is now an actor, he's no more a rapper. And that's how he was promoting stuff, and that's how it looked like everything was, excuse me, gearing to go to, right? MGK is not a rapper, he's an actor. In that video I said, this may be a blessing in disguise. I think sometimes we don't see where the blessings really are. Sometimes we don't see, maybe we messed the blessing up. Maybe we took it for granted. Now, MGK, as somebody who's watched you from Lace Up to now, 100 Words Running till now, as someone who's performed with you since Lace Up, I will say, you complained about the game, the hip hop game, a lot. Whether they're merited or not merited, you complained about it a lot. There's interviews when you're first coming up, you just don't understand things. I understand the frustration because I feel some of that frustration now. I, I look at certain people like, bro, these motherfuckers is not good. Why is they up there? I mean, I, I, don't, usually, I don't really do that anymore as I've gotten older because I understand what is and what isn't. And it's not even because people be like, oh, it'd be that tricknology. No, it don't. No, it don't. That's what that's what like people say that are talented when that's all they are. But you gotta be talented in multiple fields. Because for instance, you may rap better than Kodak Black, but his ability to make people care about what he says, care about what he does, care about walking out of a radio station is a talent. You could pretend like it's not to make yourself feel better, but it is. And he's way more talented in that aspect than you are. And that's a big that's a big part of being a, an artist. I'm gonna keep it a buck. So new movie just dropped, MGK movie, Bird on the Box or Bird Box or whatever with Sandra Bullock. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been hearing a bunch of positive. Well, I've been hearing good feedback from it. I don't know what the movie's about. I have not watched the movie. I probably am not going to because someone told me it's also long and I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't think I'm gonna be able to just go ahead and sit through like a two hour Sandra Bullock movie. I'm gonna keep it a buck. It's not that I hate Sandra Bullock, it's just that it's like sitting through a two hour Jennifer Aniston movie. Like I love Jennifer Aniston, but whatever. She's cool, beautiful, you know, but I think she's gonna keep my attention for two hours. So that's not the point. The point is positive feed. The only positive feedback I have seen from MGK from an artistic platform, and I don't mean from him, I mean from the people, I mean from the masses, is his acting. So I always say maybe this was a blessing. Maybe the universe heard your complaints about hip hop and was like, you know what? You're right. You are getting treated fair. Let me take you out of here and put you somewhere that you will get treated fair. I don't know. Maybe M really helped him more than he hurt him. Because I'm gonna keep it a, a buck. That 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 movie bag compared to that money bag, oh there's no comparison. Oh there's no comparison. Listen, we gonna mess around. There's gonna be a oceans 16 MGK gonna be up in there. We're gonna mess around in five years from now. MGK gonna be a, a not even five, three years from now, MGK gonna be a, a Marvel superhero. Go fuck around, be the biggest Marvel superhero. And I'm not mad at that. I'm all about evolution. I'm all about growth. I'm all about change for the better. You know what I mean? So, Kells, keep your head up. Eminem fans, give him a fair shake, at least with the movies and music. I mean, give him a fair shake with everything, but. Check out his movies. I didn't. I could be completely wrong, and that movie could be absolute garbage. But I'm just saying, I've heard positive things, and I didn't hear no positive things about Binge, not even from MGK fans. So, hey, keep doing you. If you got to cut your hair, if you got to put a tattoo on your eyeball, you know what I mean? Keep doing you. It's looking like Hollywood might be the move. Might be the move. Huh? And then I see you talk about doubling back in music. I feel that. Get them good tidings back from everybody get them good feels from your movies and then and then you can just sneak in th back to music like sneaking through the back door <laughs> just walk in that bitch drop off an album dip back out you know what i'm saying <laughs>
you put in the comment section, do you think that this was good for him, better than it was bad for him? Like, this, did, did, did this hurt or help him more? You put in the comment section. I think it helped him because it didn't look like he was galvanizing. Galvanize, he was going to be galvanizing much positive feelings in music. For a while, he just needed to take a break and do something else. And movies is the perfect way to go. Fuck around, and be a, a, a Will Smith or something. I take that back. You'll never be the Fresh Prince. Nobody will. Just. Anyway, love y'all.